This is KEXP FM in Seattle. We're in the live room. My name is Greg Vandy. I'm really happy to have Margot Price in the studio.
All right, Margo Price, KEXP, great to have you here. $57 from being broke Kiss my mama and my sisters And I said goodbye With my suitcase packed and wiped the tears From my eyes Times they were tough Going to bed home when I was two years old Took a job at the prison Working second shift And that's the last time I let them take What should be
Miss Margot Price live on KXP, Hands of Time, and Tennessee Song from her fantastic record on, called Midwest Farmer's Daughter on Third Man Records. She's going to be on the Seattle Center playing Bummer Shoot today at 6 p.m. on the uh, mural stage. Margot, it's great to have you here. Thank you so much. We're happy to be here. Yeah. That song is fantastic, Hands of Time. Thank you. That's yeah. our semi-condensed version. Right. It's a little long. <laughs> yeah. It's been quite a year for you. Yeah, it's been a good year so far. Congratulations, really, on, on everything that's been going on. Thank you. You've been everywhere. We've been around. Yeah. There's uh, the critical praise. There's, uh, you've been on all the TV shows. You've played Ryman in Nashville. Um, yeah. Uh, you know, it's one of the best records of the year. It's, it's fantastic. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> you've been outgoing nonstop for quite a while. Yeah, we've, uh, we've definitely hit the road really hard this year. We just got back... Um, into the country last night. We were in England and yeah. Denmark, and it was really nice. Yeah, you played End of the Road Festival, I think. Yeah, uh, yeah. it felt like the end of the road, but I think it's going to keep going on yeah. longer. I think you get a, a <laughs> bit of a break, right, coming up in a little bit. Yeah. And then you're yeah. back out again. Yep. Yeah. Yep. That song is, is very autobiographical, Hands of Time. Kind of yeah. tells your story there. In, in, Un- unfortunately, in yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Do you think that's why people really sort of resonate with you is because you're honest about your story and, and that shows through in the songs? I hope so. Um, and I think there's something very attractive about honesty in today's world. <laughs> yeah. And, and you really are the f- daughter of a, of a farmer. Yeah. My, my father and uh, all his brothers and my grandfather, they had a... A lot of farmlands yeah. when, I was, when I was very young. And when you were young, your father lost the farm. Yeah. 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 And that song is great because it really tells really the, the sort of, you know, a, a lot of years of adversity and, and, and resilience for you. Yeah, I just kind of laid it all out there and, yeah, and, uh, yeah it's hard on my sleeve kind of, kind yeah. of song. The, the last verse is very open-ended though, yeah. so um, I tried to keep it positive. Yeah. <laughs> Well, you, you made a fantastic record, and I guess for a lot of people, you kind of came out of the blue, right? I mean, you recorded the record in Memphis at Sun Studio and mixed it at Arden, two great studios, and then got picked up by uh, Third Man in Nashville. Yeah. Is that kind of how it went? Yeah, it was. Uh, I guess to, you know, to a lot of people, I'm a new face, but I'm a 13-year overnight success. Yeah. That's what I like to... <laughs> right. Um, did it surprise you how well the record's doing? Yeah, it did. I had uh, no no preconceived notions that it would do the things that that it has um like i said i've been wanting to do it you know one of these sessions for like five years yeah all all the the little things we've got to do along the way this year have have uh it's been really nice yeah (laughs) so you're a fan of kxp that's nice to hear yeah 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 Yeah, we've been playing the record quite a bit it's a fantastic record i think definitely one of the best of the year you want to play another song sure yeah let's do it margo price the record's called midwest farmer's daughter on third man
Miss Margot Price live on KXP. This town gets around from the album Midwest Farmer's Daughter. Margot Price, that's about Nashville, I would imagine, that song. Yeah, it is. <laughs> do we really want to get into that? Probably not. How much, how much time do we have, right? <laughs> Can you introduce this band to us? This band is fantastic. Yes, I'd love to. Um, I'll start left to right here. Uh, over here on lead guitar, Jamie Davis. On the pedal steel and dobro, Mr. Luke Schneider. Back behind the drums, Dylan Napier. On the bass, Kevin Black. And on the... Uh, the local boy. Yes, the, the uh, local boy on the synth and the, uh, and the piano is Micah Holscher. Right on. Good to have you, Micah. All right. Um, so, Margo, I, I love the album, everything about it. You know, even the design is fantastic. But inside the record, there's all these nice notes that are handwritten. You handwritten wrote the notes and all the lyrics. And in the acknowledgments, it's, it's clear... The prices and the Ivies are right up in there with, with the people you wanted to thank the most. A lot of your family are, are you thank in there. And, of course, your husband, Jeremy Ivey, uh, who is also your partner in music and life. Yeah, um, yeah, he co-wrote uh, about six of the songs on the album yeah. with me. Yeah. So it sounds like family is, is pretty important to you. Yeah, it is. I'm, I miss them so much when I'm gone. Um, actually, my husband just came on the road with me and played some guitar because I had uh, smashed my finger in a car door. So this is my first wow. show playing guitar since that, that incident. Right? Wow. It's, it was a couple weeks. So he really is there for you. Yeah, yeah. He'll sit in on any instrument. But he's really been there for you for, I mean, really a long time. And, and the making of this record and, and sort of the, the launch into this country career, he's really been there with you in terms of co-writing some of the music and just, you know, you, I think in some of the lyrics talk about selling the car to make the record. Yeah, right? he, so you, you, you guys put it out there. Yeah, he definitely was um, the one who finally spearheaded the recording because I didn't want to do a, like a, you know, fundraising type thing and I couldn't find anyone to finance it. So he just walked into the kitchen one day as I was cooking eggs and was like, I'm selling the car. Yeah. He went down on Gallatin Road there in Nashville and just... Yeah. Sold it that same day. Because <laughs> he believes in you, but also the songs. I mean, the songs are fantastic. So Thank you. It wasn't really like a, a too much of a hedge. Really. Yeah, it wasn't really that much of a gamble, but... Yeah. <laughs> Did you buy the car back? No, we still only have one car. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, hopefully that changed soon. The, yeah. The career is really launching in, in a fantastic way. It's I'm going really... well. I'm hoping to get a tour bus. There you go. That's what I'm, I'm hoping for. Just yeah. Maybe we won't even buy another car. So tell me about how uh, Third Man picked it up. I think I read somewhere that, you know, you, we talked about recording the record in Memphis, and, and then, but it's really a classic Nashville sound, right? It sounds like a 1972 record from some of my favorite artists back in the day. So Thank you. when you made the record, were you kind of conscious of trying to get that sound and how did it, you know, when a lot of people get involved, sometimes the, the sound can change in a record, but did it, did it sort of meet your expectations when you went in to record? Yeah, definitely. Um, I've, you know, aside from Kevin, everyone in this room played on the record, and um, although Kevin played with me in the very early days on on bass, um, but I, I knew going into it that you know these guys all cared a lot, and I, I didn't you know hire a bunch of people that you know just do sessions. I, I I got people who really wanted to be involved, and I mean they're the best. Yeah. I think they're the best band in Nashville, if you ask me. Yeah, I'm a little great. biased. Yeah. Um, but, you know, we, we went in there and and we recorded without headphones. And you know, that was why I kind of struggled so much. I tried to change guitars. I'm not used to, to wearing headphones. But it was, yeah. you know, it was a small room, even smaller than this, where we where we did it. And uh, yeah. just in there very close with each other. I like how the band covered for you at the beginning of that last song. I was like, do some licks, guys. Come yeah. on. Yeah, yeah. So, so when you make a record, then you kind of shop the record around, and then Third Man picked it up. And from what I read, you know, you kind of got on Jack White's radar, and he really considered you sort of a breath of fresh air, right, and then wanted to put out the record. Yeah. Um, actually, Luke told me one night we were just hanging out at the bar. He was like, you need to try to get your get your album to Third Man. And mm -hmm. he knew a few folks that, you know, they were acquaintances of his. And yeah. So we sent it in, and then things happened very quickly from there. But even after I recorded the the album, there was like, months and months of me trying to get it to all these labels and so you know third man was a breath of fresh air for me as well yeah. the fact that they didn't want to change anything yeah and they just were there to well, support that me it gets back to the last song right i mean you know east nashville where you came up and there's just so many great bands coming out of there right now and then there's the nashville nashville they're they're 
they're figuratively miles apart, right? They're they're close, but they're miles apart in in, yeah. in a figurative sense. Um, so, you know, how many other great bands in Nashville are going to break like you have? Well, hopefully, hopefully a lot more. You know, I have so many talented friends that deserve all the success, and it's it is just hard to you know to finance their projects and mm -hmm. you know it. But if there's a will, there's a way. Um, I really like. Erin Ray, um, and meanwhile, she's amazing. Um, Darren Bradbury, you know, Los Colones. There's just endless bands over big, there. Big fan of Los Colones. Yeah, they're great. Yeah. Also, Promised Land Sound. I love those Banditos. guys. Banditos. Yeah. You know, yeah. Caitlin Rose, you mentioned her yeah. in, in, the, in the notes. So, yeah. yeah. Well, hopefully, you know, Nashville will, will sort of recognize the, the mainstream Nashville will recognize some of these great bands. And yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sure they will. Okay. <laughs> well, how about another song? Yeah, How about a fourth song from this fantastic record? It's called Midwest Farmer's Daughter. It's on Third Man. Uh, Marco Price is playing Bomb Shoot tonight at 6 p.m. at the mural stage. Come see us. Yeah. 
Miss Margot Price, four years of chances from the fantastic record, one of the best records of the year, Midwest Thank you so much for having Farmer's us. Daughter. She's going to be a bummer shoot at the mural stage tonight at 6 p.m. I highly recommend seeing this show. Margo, it's so great to have you here. It's been our pleasure. Thank you. All right. This is KXP FM Seattle. Hey, I'm Margo Price, and this is a KEXP Roadhouse session. We're going to do a song by the Rolling Stones from uh, the Beggar's Banquet album. It's called No Expectations. Take me to the station Put me on the train I've got no expectations So pass through here again Once I was a rich man now I am so poor I never in my sweet short life Have I felt like this before Your heart is up and down Throw your pearls at swine me by my peace of Discover new music at listener-powered kexp.org.